Hey everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. We got a new shave for the day, and today we're going to be using Sterling's British Leather. British Leather, or is it English Leather? British Leather. British Leather. I keep getting the other one mixed up because if you're going to do one English Leather, you got to do the British Leather with English Leather. Smells pretty close to it, I have to say. The scent profile, very similar. There's more a little citrus in this one than it does seem to have in the uh, British leather. That's by Sterling. Definitely get the leather. There is a slight woody scent to it. And maybe a little citrus in the background. But this is more leathery forward than the uh, English leather. Now, we will be doing the uh, Chic... Uh, twist open with some, let's get this right, Permasharp blades. I got everything lathered up already in the bowl. Now, when I uh, lathered this up, I get kind of a more woody scent to it. Almost a, kind of a smoky wood type smell, but... We'll just get into that in a second. All right, so we've got the pre-shave on. Got the Barbasol 1919. It's like, guys, you made a good pre-shave. Not so great as a shaveless, but I prefer it as a uh, uh, pre-shave. All right, let's get a little bit of moisture on the face. Add some slickness. That is slick. Wander my towel over here. Where it's hiding on the wall. All right, get the old bowl. Now, this brush was the very first brush I got back in the 70s. My dad gave it to me. So, I just harken back to those commercials I remember for English leather. But I want my man to wear nothing but what, English leather or nothing at all. Something like that. Very impressionable in this young man. It's like we're all looking at it going, I like to be that guy. All right. Okay. Where'd my razor go? There it is. Okay. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Mine went pretty quickly. Uh, this Schick razor was the very first one I got. Well, and I uh, broke it out here and I was like, I smelt the brush. And I was like, yeah, it still smells like sterling, not sterling, but uh, Old Spice uh, shave soap. Because that's what I always use. It was like I had pretty much the same brush for 17 years that I used. So, It's like in the dark ages of shaving. I just put it that way. Because the carts, the disposable razors went to town and pretty much killed off those of us that were still shaving the old ways. We were the dinosaurs. I remember when I was in college. In the late 80s, everybody was still using, were using mostly disposable, mostly young guys were. There was a few of us that still did, but used the double-edged. And I'd shave at night, mostly, back then. There was a lot of times I had an 8 o'clock class. And... I would go do a workout at night in the uh, rec center with uh, football players and stuff. <clears throat> so that would be what we would do. Get done with the. The workout, be all sweaty, and it's like, ah, gotta go back to the dorm and 
shower so I would shave at night and have that done so shave first then I would uh, go take my shower so then in the morning all I would have to do is get up and do a little bit of cleanup and then put some clothes on and go get breakfast real quick at 7 a.m. and get to my 8 o'clock class while I worked on my geology degree. Earth science. Ah, all right, moving on. Across the green. A lot of fun. I was just on the phone this morning with my workout buddy from college. We're still friends. I was his best man in his wedding. It is opening. That's the biggest problem I quit using this razor. I started noticing a lot of blade feelings like right across the neck. I was like, ah, it's opening up. This uh, perma shop brand, blah, blah, can't even talk. Yuck. Soap in the mouth. Yuck. But, uh, we were on the phone this morning, yakking away. Called me up every once in a while. Right in the middle of my workout. I was like, what are you doing? Done my workout. Like, ah, okay. Start talking. Talking about the current world affairs, what's going on. I won't get into it, but boy. What a mess. And we're both of us are veterans. Another pass down. Interesting thing about this soap is that now that it's on the face, I'm getting kind of a uh, the uh, Sterling Ode. Uh, they're uh, that one soap, Ode Soup, ah, Soup, yes, yeah, Soap, Soup, Soap, oh, it's almost spelled the same, but it has that kind of a smoky, woodsy smell to this here, along with the uh, leather. Very thirsty. Still got a lot left here. I can get out of that brush. A lot more. Okay. Hmm. Make sure that's tight. All right, we're going against the grain. But I have a few things I need to get done today. Starting now. I had a disaster yesterday on one of my projects I was working on. My miniature painting project for a game. And I was like opening up one of my paint pots, which if you don't know anything about 
what I'm talking about. It's like container to hold your paint, a little like uh, hobby paint. Open it up, the lid goes flying, broke off, and then the my wife's fur. Uh, it broke off, and the next thing you know, it was like I one model had finished painting and black, it was black paint at that and it goes all over the model I just finished painting I was like no that was like five hours six hours worth of work done wiped out had to it's, not, it's like stripping it down now like god I just sucked not too happy. Not at all. My wife was sitting there and uh, watching something and she, and she heard me doing a whole bunch of explicit colorful metaphors. She's like, what's wrong? I just beep, 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 beep. You know, insert your own <laughs> words. And I'm like, she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, no, no. no. Those technical difficulties. So, back to the drawing board, basically. Oh, that does not want to. Just a, keep missing a spot right there. There we go. Got it. But you drive on. That's the only thing you can do. A little dry. So I need to get one of those misters, like uh, IMCG uh, does. He has one of those misters he sprays his face with, like you get one of these thirsty soaps. Sometimes you need a little help. Hmm. I think we got it. Water's hot. Warm. Feel good though. I'm not seeing any weepers. Does feel a little close. Maybe I should probably use a little bit of almond block on this. Just to make sure. Alright. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, the usual suspects. You can feel that one spot right through here when it opened up. They're getting aggressive on me. Really stings. 
like right through here. And I made a couple passes with it pretty open. And the result was it was a little too aggressive for me. All right, where'd it go? Here it is. English lover. Smells good. All right, I don't use this very often. A little more. There we go. Ah. A little burning right through here. Other than that, not too bad. Okay. Alright, so that's another shave down for the Monday shave using uh, British leather from Sterling. That smells pretty good combined with some British leather, English leather, British leather, English leather combined together. Ooh, smells good. like it. And that was my chic. Disposable, not disposable. Blah, got disposable on the brain. My oh shit, Corona. Wow, mice Corona with perm sharps. Good shave. All right, hope everybody like it. Like and subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one. Russian.